Welcome to Joanne's Dirty Schmacks Halloween Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Joanne Stogie Schmacks. Today we're making Halloween ghosts. Not just your ordinary ghosts, but hitchhiking ghosts. See this guy's little arm here? It looks like he's going like this. And we thought we'd have some fun, so we're going to make a very colorful dog treat today using beets and purple sweet potatoes. So the first thing we're going to do, we already have two small beets chopped up in here because we're going to use this for our icing down the line. But what we need for our recipe are two small boiled beets that have also had their skin removed. So we're gonna put these in the blender, but we're gonna chop them up first. Juliet, would you like the honors? Sure. And then we're gonna add a little bit of water. And if you're lucky and have some beautiful beet juice, you could use your beet juice. My beet juice was kind of brownish looking, so I decided to go with some good healthy water. And we're gonna blend this up. It's really fun cutting the beets. It's like super smooth. I'll get it. And there is some juice here. Let's throw that in there. Oh, nice. The beet juice looks really good. Perfect for Halloween, right? Here, yeah. I'm okay, I'm gonna put half of this water in here. And we're gonna blend it up. I'm gonna let you blend it up. We're gonna save some of this for when we add the purple sweet potato. Yeah. But we want this unadulterated because we're gonna add this to cream cheese for our cream cheese icing. Okay. You don't have to wash up yet. Let's get this. Bloody hands. Yeah, yeah. Um, get this blended really quick. So hit the on and then hit low. On first. I did. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is Halloween after all. Here we go. And okay, now. Yay! What do you think? I think it's amazing. Really cool. I think we might be okay. We're definitely okay for the dough. Mm, I think it's good. We just need half of this for the icing. So we're just going to take half of that out. That looks really good. Okay, yeah, that's probably plenty for the icing. I think maybe a little more. I mean, we Smells need a lot of... yummy. Yeah, we need a lot of icing for really good, like, what are they called? Hitchhiking ghosts? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All right, purple sweet potatoes next. You can dump the whole half a cup in. <gasps> All right, we're gonna put the rest of this water in. And we're gonna blend again. It just looks even more red, don't you think? I know, and a little purplish too. Absolutely. From the Sweet potatoes. All right, what comes next? This is my little recipe here on this pink piece of paper. We have half a cup of peanut butter. And the thing <gasps> Yay, about peanut, the butter, peanut butter. Yeah, it's pre measured here, but you always have to remember no xylitol, it's an artificial sweetener, and it's poison to your dogs. Not just bad, it's poison. I need a spoon. It's a half cup. Okay, good. That was a half cup. Oh, well, this is a half cup. You're yeah. Throw that in, then you're going to stir this around. Remove this. And my spoon. Oh, you have to smell good. And I didn't spare us the egg this time. We're gonna put we're gonna crack the egg and put the egg in there. No! <laughs> I'm gonna move this out of the way. This looks amazing. OK. 
Okay, give it, swirl it up even faster. Like mix it, mix it, mix it. That doesn't have the egg in yet, so you're not going to be making scrambled eggs. <laughs> All right, let's get the egg in there now. I'm going to let you do it. Well, that's the way to do it. Smart. Okay, you're good. I've never heard a dog complain about shell in your dog treats. Yeah, because it's just an extra um, lovely crunch. <laughs> Where should I put it? All right, so mush that around. We'll, we're going to rinse our hands shortly, but not yet. And while you're doing that, I'm going to add a half a cup of flax meal to the two cups of whole wheat flour and a half a cup of coconut flakes. I wanted the coconut flakes because I kind of had this idea that I wanted to make dog treats that maybe looked like hamburger, something that like... Look, that, that sounds really good. Well, and I think the dogs would really like the coconut flakes. Yeah, and it's the Halloween after all, so yeah. we're going for the illusion, right? Mm-hmm. All right, now here comes the hard part. You gotta mush these two together. But meanwhile, show everybody what that color looks like. It's amazing, magenta. It's oh, it is magenta. Good call. All right, let's Should clean I our pour cutting. it into that. Yep. And then you're gonna mix that. Oh. It just comes pouring out slowly. There, that that looks about good. It sure does. So then now you mix, blend this all together. I'll be right back and put this down. This is the dough, right? Yeah. So. You can see how it's starting, ugh, I hate to use the word coagulate, because coagulate means blood. Ew. But it does kind of look like blood, right? Yeah, So it's starting like to, dried blood. Mm -hmm, it's starting to come together. So let's just do this. We're gonna have to put our fingers in here in a minute. I already have. Well, that's all right. Oof, <laughs> it definitely is magenta. <laughs> Squashing it as if it were Play-Doh. Yay! This is really fun. <laughs> and here's the thing. If it looks like it needs more water, then I'll put a little more water in there. Because Do you think it does? I don't know yet. Let me put my hands in. Hold that thought. <laughs> oh, look. If you go like this, and I stand on my tiptoes, and you're smaller than I am. So you're gonna have to stand on your tiptoes. I form it into a ball and really squeeze it together. Look at that. It's coming together really nicely. So go for that. Put your muscle into it. Ugh. Ugh. Yep. In fact, we could now probably take it out of the bowl, put it on the board. It's not really a board, it's plastic, but, and work on it more there. This is much easier. Okay, good. And let's just, for the heck of it, put a tiny little bit more water in there. It kind of looks like a <laughs> volcano. Uh, well, right there it does. I don't want to put too much because I feel like I did a good recipe. Right. Now it's exploding. Right, so let's grab the edges here and come underneath. Yeah, wow. Okay. I'm going to squash it. Okay, I didn't realize that I made a dough that required so much muscle. Because <laughs> it really is fine, right? Yeah. Yep. It just needs to... Ooh, look at that piece. <gasps> I bet the dogs are going to fight over it. They might. All right, we're going to put a little bit of flour on top and roll it out and see what it looks like. And I think you know this is going to take some muscle. I may have to hold the board for you so it doesn't roll. Some of it is breaking off. Um, that's okay, we'll pat it down. Just smoosh it together. Mm-hmm. It looks like a big slab of meat, I hate to say. <laughs> but that was the point after all. Yeah. Come this way. Take some of this fat and 
smooth it this way. Oh no! Forget it. That's like a breaking off continent from the olden <laughs> days. Just let that be. All right, let me island. take this for one second and see if we can get any flatter because that might just be it. Let's see. No, we can work with that. We'll work around it. Let's just cut some, okay? What do you think? Cut just, some of what? The uh, hitchhiking ghosts. Let's just make some. Yeah. This hitchhiking ghost is really cute. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna give you this guy. Oh, yay. I have another version. He's more of a Casper. <laughs> and we'll do him over here. But see, we, we have room out of this little island over here. Yeah. So we're going to do him. Island is now not really an island. Exactly. No ghost is an island. <laughs> do you have plans for Halloween? Um, probably just trick-or-treating. Oh, I mean, good. that's what I do every year. I love it. Oh, yay. Do you have your costume? No, I'm thinking of doing maybe Baby Yoda. Because... Oh, well, you can take my Baby Yoda ears. Oh, yeah. Although it's for a dog, so your head's a lot bigger than. <laughs> I bet I can. Than Tories. But we'll get these in the oven because we have cream cheese frosting mm -hmm. with the beet juice. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, we're gonna bake it for, I think it's 10 and then 15, yes. So it's at 350 degrees, 10 minutes on one side, flip, and then 15 minutes on the other side. And then we're gonna let it cool. And then Juliet and I are going to put a cream cheese, beet, and maple syrup frosting on these little guys. Yay! Oh, look what we have. We have the Chiking Goals. Yeah, amazing. Oh, and we have our taste tester already. Juliet is going to concoct a bloody red cheese. This looks so good. Cream cheese, I couldn't remember what you call it. I was gonna call it cheesecake. It's not cheesecake. It's well, cream it could cheese. be cheesecake. <laughs> Jake says, I don't care what you call it, just give me some. I know, he's just like, just I I just want some. <laughs> I'm gonna put this maple syrup in too at the same time. Why double our trouble, right? I think there is a famous phrase, double double oil and bubble. It's a bunch of witches around the cauldron. <laughs> this isn't exactly a cauldron, but we're a bunch of witches, at least right now. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. It looks amazing. And then we're gonna use our handy dandy spatula, and maybe this knife. Dress one of these. I'm kind of curious what's going to happen to Monsieur Ted's white beard when he has <laughs> our beet dressing, well, or dressing, icing. We'll find out. It, that's Jakey. What did I call him? Ted. <gasps> no! Well, maybe Ted's with us in spirit. Yeah. Ted is why I wear this bracelet. It uh, was made in honor of him. He, it was, was his collar, right? Exactly, it was his collar. We are a Schnelzer family here. Oh, it's getting pinky. It's getting pink. It looks really good. It's like the ghosts, the ghosts are gonna have skirts now. <laughs> you can do that. I think this is good enough. And I think we can taste it too. Mm. Cream cheese, beets, and maple syrup. Mmm, it's good. It's really good. I think it can't be good for you. It's really yummy. Okay, so we're just gonna use a little bit. So take one of these little guys. Here, let me get something. To put it on. I think this might be easier if you use like this side. Yeah. And then hold it in your hand like that and do like a swoop. That looks amazing. Once I made these like sugar cookies at my house, mm -hmm. and um, and we just like put icing on it, and it was like really cool. And then we put sprinkles on it. Oh, sprinkles would be a good idea too. Yeah, maybe um, we could make like dog like dog friendly sprinkles. If they're would you like that? 
Jake, would you like friendly dog sprinkles? He said, I don't care, just give me something. Should we give it to him now or I think wait? we should. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna finalize all of these. Uh, I think they look beautiful as is. I think they look really cool with the icing. But yeah. perhaps we should have Jake give a test taste. Jake, you wanna come up here? Normally we don't have his feet up here, but this is becoming a thing. Should, should we have on? this one? Okay, you can do that one. I know it's like bad, but. What do you say, Jakey? Oh, he says oh, he it's delicious. Oh my god. He just gosh. takes it all. Wow, how could he even taste that? Well, he's tasting it he right loves, now. He loves it, guys. Ten yeah, stars. These, I, ten stars? Yeah, I like these. Ten out of five. I think these are a ten star cookie, to be sure. Yeah. So we'll just finish these up, but maybe we should say happy Halloween and let everybody go. What yeah. Do you think? I think we should. Okay. You want to wipe the card? Yeah. Happy, Happy Halloween! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And like. And like. Oh, good point. <laughs>